Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here. Uh, this is going to be sort of just a channel update uh, vid where I talk about a couple things that I have coming up and why I'm working on them. My working title for this video is My Hero Academia, Jesus Christ, and SJW Marvel. I don't know if I'll be brave enough to actually use it, but uh, let me think. So last week I didn't have, I, I wasn't able to do a feminism and art video. I had the script. I was kind of passionate to do it, but I kept having like this mental block on me where I was just sick about talking about feminism. And what I realized is it's a little bit like reading a whole bunch of bad comic books in a row. And then I needed to read a really good Donald Duck comic book to give me a palate cleanser. When I read too much of that stuff all in one sitting, I just start getting bummed out and annoyed and irritated all the time at some of the radical politics uh, that I'm exposing myself to. But, but I think it's important and we need to talk about it. So my bright idea was I need to add a little bit of fresh stuff into the mix that I'm actually passionate about and excited about. So if there's one vid where I'm kind of decrying, you know, the, the state of the world and uh, horrible, radical postmodern art, I need to do a vid about Renaissance art that I actually love and get enthusiastic about to just get me mentally happy again. And for I'm sure for a lot of people that Renaissance art and not just Renaissance art, but classical art is of some interest to people who like comics because you can draw a really clear line from those artists and the way they worked to the best and the brightest artists in the comic industry today. I think every artist should read what Leonardo da Vinci had to say on uh, Light, for example, in some of his notes. So uh, pretty much I've talked about this before on Twitter and in my long rambly videos, But so let's keep it short. Uh, I am going to be working on a series called The Renaissance and the Reformation, where uh, part of it will be talking about Renaissance artists and their artwork, and a significant part of it will be talking about Christian theology and the Reformation. Why am I talking about Christian theology? Because you can't really understand most of the art of that time period without an understanding of the theology of the Reformation. One of my favorite books, I think from a secular historian, was uh, called On the Controversy of Renaissance Art, and it was mostly about Catholic theology and Protestant theology and how that changed the way art was made back then. And I see all this stuff as completely relevant to what we're talking about today. The, the Protestants and Catholics were, they were ar arguing about uh, what se may seem like in-house Christian issues. To an atheist, it might seem like an in-house Christian debate, but there were issues of uh, destiny and free will. There were issues uh, about politics. The, the Reformation was a very fascinating period of time, and I think we're still feeling the uh, repercussions of that time period to this very day. So I think I just need a little uh, disclaimer before before I dive into that. I'm a uh, believing Protestant of, uh, I, I actually, uh, gee, I only very recently found uh, my con confession of faith, so I haven't even read my confession of faith. So the thing is, uh, this isn't going to be me becoming an apologetics channel because I don't feel qualified to be a Christian apologist. I've, I've read about some of this stuff in history, but I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be picking fights with any like YouTube atheists anytime soon or declaring myself to be the next C.S. Lewis. I'm interested in this time period. I think it's relevant to understanding the art of this time period, but the tone of the series is going to be very similar to fem feminism and art, where I may give a few opinions on what I'm talking about, but mostly I'm just going to be trying to summarize it as best I understand it. And even if I do give my opinion, it's going to be my opinion on what these big complicated ideas are kind of in simple, simple language, maybe give it a nice simple illustration to, to complement the idea. So uh, you can expect videos where I'm talking about theological issues of from the time of the Reformation, videos where I'm focusing on uh, artworks and maybe the technical aspects of how artists worked back then, what we can learn from them today as artists. Uh, I want to, this is all going to be about mixing different types of things. We're going to have like really close detailed looks at the letters of certain artists. I, da, I know Da Vinci and Michelangelo have got some great stuff that I want to look at that's very specific that I know no one on YouTube has talked about that should be talked about on YouTube because it's so relevant to artists. 
There are going to be more general vids where I'm maybe just talking about the movements really briefly. I might talk briefly about the Mannerist movement, but not dive into it too, in too much detail. There are going to be vids where I have an atheist perspective, a Catholic's perspective, a Protestant's perspective. And what I kind of hope for this is I get excited about a lot of different things, but I have a feeling that if you zoom out and look at all these things together, it'll feel like they all belong together. The, the Renaissance and the Reformation, the Christian uh, uh, theology debates and the art of the time, they all they go together. And then feminism and art, well, that uh, is a, essentially it's a response to the ideas of beauty and art from the Renaissance. So uh, to understand what feminism and art is, what feminist art theory is. You kind of have to get what it is they're rebelling against. And then I see feminism and art as relevant to comic books and all the issues we're discussing today. So my, my promise to you is I'm going to try to be fair to uh, people I disagree with. I'm not going to try to set myself up as the, ex the expert and pontificate on these things like because I'm not an expert that's the point I'm, I'm an art student uh, you you don't need to know what my expert opinion is on uh, the the debate on papal debates because I'm not an expert on those but I am interested to learn more about them because I see them as completely relevant to the art of the time period which I love so Boko no Hero Academia uh, I'm reading it I had a video which got 2,000 views re reviewing the very first volume of Boku no Hero Academia. I was surprised by that. It was just one of my stream of consciousness vids where I'm talking about uh, what I'm really liking and not liking about it. And I promised people in the comments that I would be reading more Boku no Hero Academia and doing reviews. Look at me, guys. I've already become a, one of those Boku knows types. My Hero Academia. I like to call it My Hero Academia. But I want to actually read the whole thing before I try to do any more reviews on it because I don't want to be a fake geek guy and just guess as I go along. Definitely go watch Just Some Guys vid on My Hero Academia. I thought that was fabulous. It's a great intro to the series. Pretty much I just want to do some highs and lows, you know, really good points, maybe some weak points from the later volumes and try to catch up with where the manga is now. And I'll probably watch the anime in addition to reading the manga to help give me some thoughts on how they adapted it, maybe what's different between one version and the other. I'll probably look around YouTube to see what other people have done, but I kind of want to do the same thing to it that I've done with a lot of the comics I've read where I talk a little bit about what the story is, but I mostly focus on the art and why I love of the art and how I think the art is helping the story work and the morality of the story. So you can expect, uh, it'll probably take me a few weeks at least to get caught up in My Hero Academia and then there'll probably be a slow trickle of videos starting then. Uh, I, I, I really want to do three videos a week that are serious podcast format on uh, either a issue of feminism and art or social justice and art or religion all by itself or classical art history all by itself. And I think that'll help keep me motivated and not get too depressed from reading too much radical st stuff all the time. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think the podcasts are much more professional than just me looking at a comic book and kind of saying whatever comes to mind. Those videos are fun and I've gotten good feedback on those videos. I, I, I would make the just sort of casual iPhone videos just for fun because I think it helps me think through things. It lets me kind of express some of my thoughts and then I can hear myself talk and say, oh, I don't, I don't think that was a very good point, but I think that was a good point. Maybe I should talk about that in more detail. And then the podcast is where I actually sit down, write it out, try to delete the stuff I don't need and hone in on what's important. So I, I guess the reason I'm doing this is I have floated the idea several times of having different channels for these different types of topics and overwhelmingly people have told me it's okay to put it all on one channel. I had a Twitter poll where I think about 96% of people said just put everything on the number one Marmaduke fan channel. So you, you at, I, I asked for your feedback, I got your feedback, and that's what we're going to be doing. I will continue to listen to feedback as I do this series. Uh, I'm excited to show you this series and pretty much whatever uh, avenue you come from theologically or politically, I, I, what I hope to demonstrate is I do think that these topics are relevant to what we're talking about today. The, the theology of the Reformation, even if you are, don't think you're interested in that debate because it seems like an in-house Christian debate to you, 
is important to the history of the world. It's important to the history of art, and I'm so excited to dig into it. I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys, and pretty soon we'll all be learning about uh, what My Hero Academia, Jesus Christ, and whoops, I messed up that sentence. We'll, we're we're going to learn what those two things have to do with SJW Marvel. This is my clickbait uh, channel update, and I'll catch you all later.